I was going down uh, Bear Valley, crossing uh, Ridgecrest. I got up over the hill, went to, uh, uh, I forget the name of that street, Industrial. And then as I was coming up to Industrial, I seen the truck with the trailer on the back of it. And I flipped the U-turn illegally, went across on a, uh, uh, on a red light in front of the traffic and got behind this, this truck and this trailer, and they turned left onto Ridgecrest. And I got behind them. I had to go through three or four cars, and then I took a picture of the license plate, pulled up close enough to where I could take a picture of the the truck with the license plate on the truck and the uh, landing ramp of the trailer. And then I went up and took a picture of the guy driving without him even noticing. Oh. <laughs> I have all of this stuff. And then I got in front of him and told him to pull over, and he wouldn't pull over. And I said, "That's my trailer." And he said, and he took off and, and I pulled in front of him and he backed the trainer up and then um, flipped a U-turn and went back inside Spring Valley Lake. And at that time when I was on Fortuna, by, on Fortuna and, and, and then at that time, another car came in and got involved. It was uh, a white, I'm not sure if it was a Honda or a Ford and got in between me and the, the truck and the trailer. And I told him that's my trailer. And he acted like his, his car was, was broken. So I backed up and then started chasing the truck. And then next thing you know, that, that car rear-ended me doing about 40 miles an hour. Both of us are doing about 40. And then I, I made a right following the truck and the trailer and he came up on my on my right hand side and rammed the side of the van with his car trying to get me uh, to quit following the truck and then um, I, I uh, wrecked his car and his car stayed there and I kept going and I followed the truck all the way through Spring Valley and then uh, kept right on his tail and he went up through the desert and went out into the hills in the desert I was still following him in my van and then he went out there, did a quick release on the trailer from his truck, and then dumped the trailer out in the desert, and I stayed there with the trailer. Wow. So that thing, would he could release it from inside his car? No, he no, he lift? jumped out. We well, jumped out and pulled it. Yeah. Well, was not, he left the pin on the ground because his pin was on top of our yep. battery box. <laughs> I guess that's an interesting story. Yeah. 